Is it working? Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to Victoria Free. So, uh, yeah, like I said before, and uh, obviously we are live streaming, is this is the new grand strategy game just released by Paradox Interactive. And, uh, yeah, the third sequel in the Victoria series. Uh, they didn't change the time period in which this is happening, so it's still 1836 to 1936, the Great Industrial Revolution and all the geopolitical events happening in that time, but um, I assume they've updated stuff. We're gonna see in this series. Well, we'll try to play with my native country. Well, Starting with Wallachia, because back in 1836 it wasn't unified, and see how uh, how well we can manage. Let's see if we can if we can do as good as his history happened, better, or as I, as it happened to me in Victoria, too worse. Because um, we as a country were much more tricky than the game. Than the game allowed us with events. I like stack of games next to my consoles. What, what can I say? Uh, I can accept that. Hmm. Sandbox. I thought an objective and go to the country selection. Oh, objectives? That's new. Galatarian society, hegemony. I think we should do the tutorial first. Let's 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 not be too dumb. We'll do the tutorial first and then. We'll start the sandbox. Play a campaign guided by challenges to help you learn both how the game works and how to play it. Is this like the full 100 years campaign or is it like limited? You can play Sweden, Belgium, the Cape Colony, or Chile. Hands of the government and the church. What does the future hold for Chile? Dutch oppression was cast aside just six years ago. I lose my account somehow, I don't have to rebuy the games. That is a good point. Hmm. Let's try... Let's try with the Cape Colony. Sure, why not? And if it's like the full 100 years, we'll only play it for like a little bit just to like get used to it and then we'll go to like the actual... To the, to the actual game itself. We'll also have to figure out where to put my camera. And here we are, right into it. 1836, Sir Benjamin Durban is governor of Cape Colony. The industrial revolution is well underway. Bringing cataclysm, social change, and along with and such change along with it. More than 20 years have passed since the Congress of Vienna imposed some semblance of order upon Europe, and unrest is once again starting to brew in the great powers. Thus, here to guide the Cape Colony. There's no one way to win in Victoria Free. You set your own goals. Fair enough. That's pretty standard. Core gameplay is about taking charge and growing, shaping a Victoria era country. To be, I mean, invite the Liverman for a cup of tea. Very thematic for the game. Uh, looks like we don't have anything over here, so maybe I'll move my thing over here. There's not much on top either, it's just like the time. Focus on economics and politics, but we also have diplomacy and war. All tools to do that end. Must be employed with care as your population have needs and desires of their own. Dynamic simulation. Yeah, that is the same. We can... Whoa! Oh, this is interesting. So if we scroll out enough, it becomes a political map. But if we scroll in... We can hold tab to go to the maximum. If we scroll in, it becomes a... Um, a physical map. Fair enough. Easy as fuck. <laughs> I taught them all my first try, even the red airplane on told you, man. After you get the hang of it, they're not that difficult. 
tooltip inside another tooltip. Underline text. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Color name or a concept. However, your cursor. Hover your cursor over such text to get more information. Still for a moment and the tooltip will get solid and lock into place. Damn, you're, they're teaching us how tooltips work. Man, I'm a, I'm a game developer. I, I, I know how that works. All right, here's where the interesting stuff gets in. Capacities. Three capacities measure different aspects of your country power. Bureaucracy, authority, and influence. Capacity originate from government buildings, certain laws, and your rank, respectively. You get to decide how to allocate them. To further your interest, unspent capacity will provide a minor boost to one aspect of your country, while overspending will occur a measure's penalty. So we have bureaucracy, which is currently increasing. That's good. Authority, that's also increasing. State religion, censorship, yeah, and influence. Our money is not good. And treasury is used to fund the state apparatus. Yes. Good. Majority of money in your country is circulated by buildings and population and pops and is outside of your direct control. Things and pops can be taxed to grow and improve your economy. Aha! We have to raise taxes. Got it. My capacities, monies can be saved to be spent later. Through going into debt by running a negative wing there can often yield a better return on investment. The loans will automatically be repaid while your weekly balance is positive. Hmm. Fair enough. Stay five, was it fun? Did you have any BS mission like that mission in San Andreas? I not really. Stay five went much more fluid, but then again I am a full adult now and understand how games work. I don't know how I would have reacted if I played it when I was twelve. But yeah, it was it was pretty fun. It was interesting. And it definitely had its own political moments. And we have a lot of buttons on the left. Some are used to manage your countries or others are informational. Politics, budget, buildings, market, military, diplomacy, technology, cultures. Population, journal, outliner, and map list. Can you also click on these? Oh, hello. Clicking on bureaucracy brings up the politics channel. This brings up the diplomacy channel, which is appropriate. Hmm. Lenses. Along the bottom of the screen are five lenses. Oh, these ones. So provide easy access to actions you can take and shape your country. Combined with information needed to make good decisions. Yes, we want to make the best decisions. Not for this country, but for the next one we'll play as. Production is for expanding industry and goods. Politics is for managing government. Diplomacy is for initiating and breaking pacts. Military. Oh, and trade. Open and lens. There you are. So this is production, and we have agriculture, resources, and industry. Each lens has its own map mode. Ah, hello. So this is the production one. Look at the map. The details just has changed. Click on each lens, and looking on the map can give you a hunch of what's going on in the country. Hmm. So we have the gross domestic product. Ah, we can see which uh, part is contributing the most to our gross domestic domestic product. Right. What about political lens? Ah, we can see the political strength of each part, and the biggest one is the Cape Colony because it has the most land owners. While the Northern Cape has mostly industrialites. And Eastern Cape is the second best one. Okay. Diplomatic lens. We can see these countries don't really like us. Transaval loves us. And the rest are kind of calm. Great Britain is protective of us. And the rest of countries don't really care about us. Oh, I can see the, the wars going on. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, the um, Texan War of Independence. That was a spicy one. Military, there's... I guess there's the war going on, but we can't really see much. We don't have any spies or anything to learn more. And this is the trade routes. Hmm. I'm going to assume our supply networks. This might uh, take some lessons from Europa Universalis 4. And it might go interesting with like blockades and pirating and stuff. Alright. And adjust the speed of the game, pause and on pause. Time span of Victoria 3 is 100 years. We can adjust the tempo of yourself. Right now it's hitting pause. Right, so I, I guess it will go for 100 years. That is fair. Oh, we have... Ah, there you go. We have multiple parts of the day. I've just been given your first tutorial challenge. Pause the game to give you time to read. Remember to unpause it. Open the journal panel by clicking the highlighted button. Uh, journal. Expand the basic building. Tell me how, tell me why. <laughs> Must close the current lesson before... Right. Building, that will be from production, right? Build in states, click on a state, buildings. Oh, it's by clicking on states. Ah, okay. And wet farms. Or you could build a barracks. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Tell for information about the wet farm building. Or its expansion. Ah, this is what we needed to do. 28 weeks? That's a lot of time. That's half an year. Take time to expand. My family will be placed in construction queue and will be constructed within several weeks. Keep playing the game. More journal answers will appear. Uh, right. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. I have no idea what all these buttons do. This is the, the, the problem when you're first introduced to this game. It's like an overload of information. You just have to, you know, hold on to it. Hold on to your britches and you'll get used to it. So we have the population tab. We can see uh, standards of living. Hmm, secure, prosperous and middling. Well, at least we don't have anyone struggling. Minimum expected. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And then we have the charts. You can see the different cultural makeup. Boer, Soto, Kojian, and obviously English. We have the religions, animists and Protestants. We have the professions. Mostly laborers and peasants, some shopkeepers. And we have the clout. What is this? Ah, this is like political strength. This game looks more complicated than Rimworld. It is actually even more complicated than Rimworld, so buckle up. Uh, Rim Rimworld is a piece of cake to get into compared to this one. Politically inactive. Ah, uh, this they do not support any uh, interest groups. Okay, okay. Rural folk, industrialists, plutocratic, laissez-faire. All right. Okay, so it seems like. So, so it's not like hours like in Hearts of Iron, but it's not in full days passing either. It's uh, four stages of the day. You have morning, afternoon, evening, night. Morning, afternoon, evening, night. Okay. That's the basic building. Mechanical tools is spreading. That's a new innovation. Power of the purse is spreading. Social criticism activated. What? 
What is that? Go to... Is it their approval of unhappy? <laughs> okay, what do we have on technology trees? Let's see. Enclosure or manufactories? Ah, uh, this is, we already have these. Hmm, atmospheric engine, Bessemer, intensive agriculture, canneries. Crystal glass. What would the uh, South America be good at? Oh, but we want railways. All right, mechanical tools. It is. Railways are the defining factor. Uh, military. Can we? I guess we can only do one at a time. Presumably. Power of the purse. We have seen that popping up. Standing army. Ah, so this is naval technology and this is land technology. So if we say do percussion cap, yeah, it will override that one. Okay. Well, I assume we are under the protection of Great Britain. So we shouldn't worry. Yeah, Overlord Great Britain. So we don't have to worry about... Um... about the military right away so you can focus on technology society nationalism egalitarianism pharmaceutical psychiatry dialectics and that goes to socialism yes ah oh, it's funny you can get to socialism either through dialectical materialism or through egalitarianism Fascinating. Romanticism, realism, camera, film, mass propaganda. Very, very fun. Is it fancy a tick type graphics already make the game complicated? Oh, yeah. True that. Okay, so we are building that there. How we can increase our money? So we could increase taxes. Consumption taxes. We have a consumption tax on grain. So we have government wages. We could reduce the wages of our government and military wages. What about state? So we can see... Revenue. Eastern Cape is not giving us any revenue. What the hell? Hello? What's going on in here? Go... Pay your taxes. Bunch of beggars. Oh my god. Urban center. A politician has died. We can build a new building here. A government administration. That will help us with taxes. Go ahead. Is anything happening? 68, 78 week. I think it went down. So I think it, it is happening. Okay, okay. That is fine. What else do we have? So that is the budget. So you could put consumption taxes. We could also put tariffs. I assume that would be on trade. It's an easy way of making money while also crippling your trade buildings we saw that so i guess this is where you can click on a building and pop it on the map so you have two ways you can either go on the specific province or you can go from here yeah wet farms uh these are ports and military things and we can see here what we have in construction you can only construct one thing at a time jesus it's gonna take forever to build anything all right, this is the market, right? As you can see, staple goods, industrial goods, luxury goods, and military goods. Hmm. Trade routes. 
goods with considerable import demand, so we could make uh, manufacture these and win more money. Goods with considerable potential for export. Oh no, this is what we... No, 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 this is what uh, our people want. So yeah, we need wood and coal and glass for most of the industrial stuff and obviously the rich guys want the luxury for furniture. And these are for potential for exports. Hmm, we could export liquor. Yeah, because it's made from wet, so it's pretty easy. And fertilizer. And fish, because we are... Um, uh, we have access to the sea. And obviously grain. Cannot set priority. Since you're not part of this market. Ah, these are... These are some... Some some stuff. Oh, we have... Oh, we, this, is, this shows us which market we are part of. We're part of the British market, yeah, spanning from fucking New Zealand all the way to the New World. Jesus. Oh, I can see all the all the markets. And a big British market is huge. All right, what else we have? Military. We just have our ten. I don't think we have anything in the... We have 10 regulars in uh, the Cape Colony. That I... Uh, yeah, it looks like they're garrisoned. Mobilize. Activate conscripts. Okay, so we saw technology cultures so um ah this is uh yeah this is the politics part that we haven't seen yet so we have the state religion and the citizenship racial segregation of course population lower strata middle strata is secure what are these? So we have impoverished, secure, secure, and we saw that there are others as well. Journal. We are still doing that. Outlier. Okay, so politics is the only thing that I haven't seen yet. 78 legitimacy of our government. That's good. Active interest group. So we have social criticism and family ties. Institution, law enforcement. And we have government over here. Anglican Church. Don't make this conversation political. People completely normal stuff oh boy we are we are getting balls deep into political with this one we better better believe it uh marginalized interest group trade unions and petite bourgeois ha interesting intelligistia oh we can see the interest groups we can see so intelligistia is made out of aristocrats bureaucrats clergymen clerks and some peasants. We can see what laws they want to pass. And their endorsement towards it. So they want landed voting. And we can either bolster that interest group. Or suppress it. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, then we have laws. All right, this is where it gets interesting. Yeah, this this was the big screen that I spent all my time at in the previous game. So we have power structure. We are a presidential republic, autocracy, racial segregation, state religion, appointed bureaucrats, professional army. That's good. Uh, 
I can go towards mass conscription. Internal security. National Guard. Secret police. Guaranteed liberties. Mm. And then we have economical laws. Interventionism, mercantilism, land-based taxation, no colonial affairs. We are a colony, so we are not going to colonize something else. Local police force. Religious schools. Eww. We want to push that towards public schools. So we have zero chance of making this. What, what do we need to get it? You must not have state religion. We have that. We have to get rid of that. Or serfdom. I don't... Do we have serfdom? Serfdom abolished. Okay. That's good. Beast clergyman reference. Nah, not really. Workers protection. Yes. Child labor allow allowed. <laughs> Brilliant. Rights of women, legal guardianship, no social security, migration control. Well, at least slavery is banned. That's that's good. Legacy legacy slavery. Mm. So we have some good things. We are not we're not we're not the worst. But yeah, we need to get rid of religious schools. And for that we need to get rid of the state religion. Chance is 0%. Freedom of conscience can be enacted. Must be above 0% through support from either interest group in government or political agreement or your ruler's ideology. We have neither. But the Intelligista is someone who would want that so we can support that population group. And um, try to get them going. How much longer until they... Six weeks until they finish that. God fucking damn it. What's this? Unhealthy economy. You don't say. Can support more declared interests. What's this? Ah, interest in our st uh, strategic region. We already have a declared interest here. Declare interest in Brazil. <laughs> okay. Um I don't I I don't think we want that. Fuck it. Congo. It's in our interest now. Battalions in the reserves. Expensive government goods. Iron is expensive and tools are expensive and low access to market. Hmm. Don't know what to do about those, but thank you for informing me, I guess. We'll get the railways, that should help. Ah, I see how as other countries... the. Get this technology we get bonuses to them because you know information spreads obviously and obviously as we get technologies it will help others as well okay where was that um not cultures population diplomatic place oh Declare interest, diplomatic actions. Can do customs unions. Holy shit, this is this is way more advanced. Embargo, defensive pact, bankroll, violet sovereignty. Mm. Take on debt. I don't think we are ready for independence. Like we, are, we definitely benefit from Great Britain protecting us, but that would be something to uh, go towards. How did I get to that? 
Uh, ah, here. Right, Intelligistia, Industrialist, what do they want? Better landed voting, distribution of power, census. Those would also be good to support. Now oh, it's the intelligence unit. Ah, oh, there you go. We got our first basic building. She can order the expansion of buildings. Is limited by our construction sector, which can be expanded. Same way as industry. Having a construction sector building is the same state as their construction. Will increase construction efficiency. Oh, cool. Let's do that. Um... Where, where, where is that again? Construction sector. There it is. Gold fields. Ooh. Seventy-three weeks. Lovely. Now that's gonna take forever. Okay, thirty-one minutes. I think we are fairly familiarized with how this game works now, so um, change production method on wet farms oh, we can uh, we, we saw that, right? yeah, we saw the wet farms and we can change its production wet method, so we can change basically what they do Let's go for vineyards. Maintain single crop. Citrus orchards. Ah, that is actually pretty good. New effects on the building immediately. That should give us more money. Push on the workforce and across the economy might take some time to materialize. Should method active for at least four weeks to complete the lesson. That we will, but yeah, we'll soon end the episode, and then we will um, start the um, the next one. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, the Portuguese are colonizing this place. That is not not cool. And we change the production method. Successfully completed. Good, good, good. We do have gold reserves, so it's not that big of a problem because we are in the negative right now, but yeah, it's going to become one. All right, Intelligista. Let's bolster them. They are liberal, anti-clerical, republican, and anti-slavery. Determined by your free speech law. Bolstering interest group costs authority. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we have plenty of authority for now. Minus 37 for the consumption taxes. So if we were to put another tax, we could put a consumption tax on liquor. Holy shit, we have opium. Nice. Or on coffee. Or on sugar. Will not, not, not bring us that much money, actually. The biggest one would be on clothes, but I think that will make very a lot of people unhappy. Um, transportation. Hmm. All right, seems like a good place to end it as any.
So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this first uh, episode of the tutorial of Victoria Free. Don't worry. Um, we will go to, um, to the actual, um, thing that I have uh, in the thumbnail. But, uh, yeah, until then, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you next time. We're going to make it stop working. Bye-bye.